and nobody thought we were going to be as good as we are now. Greenville's Jacoby Gillespie is not a chatty guy. It was fun. Do that. That's the way he's not a he's not a real talkative guy. He's a good guy, but he's not real talkative. You gotta kinda squeeze stuff out of him. He's still only a sophomore. Doesn't have to be that vocal leader. But I also think that I've improved on scoring throughout the year. I started having more high score games at the end of the year. And coach Brad Wolsey doesn't expect that out of him. Jacoby stays in his own lane. Another good thing about Kobe is, is he takes the pushing, you know, he you can yell at him or cheer for him, and he's not going to look any different. I mean, he he is he he's so level, um, and he just he he's a joy to coach. And uh, again, we're looking forward to see what he does in the future. He's creating his piece of Greenville history, and he's not the first Gillespie to do so. Yeah, he is. I mean, you can look and even even look back at his his dad and his uncle. You know, I went to school with his dad, Byron. And then, and then you got Javon uh, and another brother, Jordan, uh, who were both playing uh, football at uh, UVA Wise. And so he's got a lot of that uh, in his family. And they play both sports, but I just play basketball. There we go, creating his own path. I played my freshman year. I just didn't want to play sophomore year because I wanted to focus on basketball. And, you know, it's, it's good for me as a Greenville guy to be able to see just kind of those things pass from one generation to the next. And now he's the next Gillespie you can't miss in a Greenville uniform. Played AAU ball and been playing school ball, so I think I'm ready for this. Jacoby was a huge piece of this year's basketball team, a legitimate scoring threat. Just keep working hard in the offseason and practicing hard. Um, they're a great offensive team. Uh, you know, but we've talked about that if you want to win at tournament time, you can't just be great offensively. You got to be great on both ends of the floor. But I mean, just to be real honest, we've been really good offensively for the last six, seven games. The Green Devils were rolling, winning the district tournament and making it all the way to the state tournament. That's until the TSSAA suspended the state championships. Yeah, it is tough. I mean, you look, the kids have been working really hard even since March, um, just in the weight room and uh, skill development. TSSAA said there's still hope to resume the state tournaments, so Greenville is staying ready. I just still get in the gym because I think we'll still play. I go to the wide shoot, or I do that, or dribble, and work out still. I just stay ready. And Jacoby is motivated with his turn to do something special at this school. There's not many teams have done that in Greenville. And we can make history if we win it. I think we can make it the next two years after this, too. I think we can still compete. In Greenville, Michael Epps, News Channel 11 Sports.